Hi, I'm Steve Hodges from Microsoft Research in Cambridge in the UK. And I'm Tim Regan, and I'm going to show you some of our research around printing interactivity. There are two sides to this research. One looks at making it really easy to design and model and print 3D objects at home, and then the other is about adding electronic interactivity to those components. So over Christmas, the Windows team pushed out drivers to some key entry-level 3D printers like the MakerBot behind me, and a store app where you could download and print items. And what we've done is we've added the ability to build your own models into that app. I'm going to show you a Space Invader. So the Space Invader is built entirely out of small cubes. If I twizzle him around, you can see that. And I'll just make his ears a bit longer. So if I add a few cubes to his ears, he now has a strange sticky out ears. When you print him, you end up with a model like this one. And this is what you might choose to add interactivity to using the technologies that Steve's developed. That's right. So like Tim says, we, we want to add some electronic functionality. So another technology we've been developing is a way of printing uh, circuits. So traditionally, if you want to make an electronic device, you have to make a printed circuit board um, and you have to solder components down to that. And we want to make that whole process much more accessible and much easier in the same way that 3D printing has become much more accessible uh, even to home users over the last few years. So what we actually use is um, we've got this ink, but it's very special ink because it's silver nanoparticle ink. And I've got some in a pen here. So this is like a regular felt pen, um, but I filled it with this uh, silver nanoparticle ink. You can see it's brown at the end of the tip. And I've got a piece of uh, regular photo paper here. So this is like inkjet photo paper. Um, and if I just draw a line, as soon as the uh, ink leaves the pen, it actually turns into silver. So it's electrically conductive. So over here, we've got an inkjet printer. It's sort of like a $100 uh, domestic printer. So now, when the printer thinks it's printing black and white uh, onto photo paper, it's actually printing um, a conductive circuit. Now, we can't solder electronic components down because this is on a piece of paper, and, and you can't solder to paper. So we've come up with this other idea. We call them circuit stickers. And what we actually do is we make these little objects. And each one has got electronic components uh, soldered down to it. In, in it. in itself, it is like a little printed circuit board. What we've done is on the, on the reverse side, we put these connection points. So the idea is in a tool like Visio, for example, you can have um, a pallet of all the, all the different uh, circuit stickers you have in your kit. And you can drag onto the canvas the ones you want to use. And then you can wire them up. So then you can print out your design and you get something like this. And the idea is that you, you've, your design is, is made in such a way that um, you can match up these contact points uh, with, the, with the components you want to use. But we still need some way of, of attaching these and we can't solder to it because it's paper. So, so for that, we use a special type of tape made by 3M. Um, it conducts electricity. It's electrically conductive double-sided tape, but it only conducts through its thickness, not across the surface of the tape. So. If I put some of this tape on the, on the reverse side of one of these, um, these circuit stickers, then it doesn't short circuit these connection points, but it does mean that when you stick it down, it's going to make a connection through. So this substrate that we've printed, the, the, the conductive circuit we've printed on the paper, acts to, to wire together your circuit. So here, we've got a battery, a microcontroller, a little motion detector, and a couple of lights. And it's configured so that um, if, you, if you give it a, a little movement, uh, the lights flash, and then it stops. So we can take this circuit, we can fold it up, and we can put it inside um, the Space Invader that, that Tim showed us. Um, and we can end up with something like this, which is a, an interactive Space Invader with eyes flash when you tap it. OK, to summarize what we've shown you here, we've shown you two different technologies which we think are going to help people um, turn their ideas into reality. So you know, first of all, we showed you a 3D editing application, which combined with the 3D printing support in Windows lets you take your idea and create a real physical object. But, we also showed you another technology which is a little bit further out, probably, where people are going to be able to, we think, print their own circuits, perhaps at home, um, and add electronic componentry to that so that they can take the object they've created and actually make it interactive. 